this is a follow-up video to my crazy popular original video on how to make a free professional website okay maybe my original video wasn't that popular but this is a follow-up video anyway I'm gonna cover how to add pictures how to embed videos how to use widgets to make your website more interesting and how to change themes so let's get started okay the first thing to do is navigate to your WordPress website and log in. I typically type in forward slash admin to get to the login screen. You can do it however you'd like. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to upload an image to the site and add it to a page. There are multiple ways to do this, but I'm going to do it by hovering over the word media here on the left, then clicking add new. Then you can either drag a file from your computer and drop it into this box or you can select a file from your computer by browsing to the file. That's what I'm going to do. Let's try this one. Once you click on the picture, WordPress will upload it and you will have it on the site. Now that I have an image on the website, I'm going to want to put it into one of my pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is click my pages link. Since I want the image to appear on my home page, I'm going to click my home page. Now, do I want my image before my text, after my text? Do I want my text wrapped around my image? I'm going to put my cursor right here at the beginning and put my image in and see what it looks like. Then I click upload insert, this little button right here. Now when I get here, I'm going to choose media library because that's where I put my image. So here's my image. I'm going to title it Fun in the Field. I'm going to put a caption in, Throwing My Hat. This caption will appear under the image. Now, you can try alternate text and description and see what it looks like on your page if you'd like. Just a note about images. There are a lot of options in WordPress for images. My recommendation is to try out the different sizes, different alignments, uh, different link URLs, and see what they look like on your page. That's the best way to figure out how you want your image to look in WordPress because there are so many options. So for link URL, the one that's in here right now is file URL. That will take you to a full size version of the image, not in the theme. So you will just see the image in the browser full size. If you click attachment post URL, then it will put your image into a post within your theme and it'll fit just right. Try it and you'll see what I mean. If you click none, then your image will not be clickable. Okay, here's what alignment means. If you click none, your image will appear either below or above your text. If you click left, then your image will be on the left side and your text will wrap around your image. And you can see, based on these little icons, what your text is going to do. If you click right, then your image will be on the right side and your text will wrap around it to the left and underneath it. Now, just try those and you'll see what I mean. For size, thumbnail is very small. Medium is a little bit larger. Large, this one's interesting. If you choose large, your image will be the size that it was when you uploaded it. And if it's too big for your theme, it will squish it down to fit in the theme and it will look very weird. If you click full size, then it will size the image perfectly for your theme and it will fill up that, that space. I'm gonna choose medium and left align and then I'm gonna click save all changes and then I'm gonna click insert into post. Now, let's go ahead and see what our image is going to look like on our home page. First, click Update to save your changes. And then click on your home page link to see what your image is going to look like. And there we have it. Now, I'm going to add some more text so you can see what it's going to look like when it's left aligned. So, I've gone ahead and added a little bit of text. And this is what it looks like when your image is left aligned and it's a medium size. Now, here's what happens when I click on this image. It takes me to a full-size version of the image, and I'm no longer in my theme. If I click again, then I'll get the real full-size version of the image. Now remember, if you had used the attachment URL, then it would take you to a post within your theme, and you would see this image. Like I said before, with images, you're going to have to try a lot of different things and see what happens. WordPress has a lot of image options, and you just need to experiment a little. But now you know how to put an image into a page or into a post. You can put an image into a post in the same manner. Go to your dashboard, click on posts, 
Decide which post you want to add the image to and follow the same procedure. One more thing about images. If you want to edit an image in a page or a post, go to that page and then click on the image. If you click on this icon, it will delete your image. If you click on this icon, you can edit your image. Here are your options. You can resize your image here. You can change your alignment. You can change your titles, etc. There are even some advanced settings. You can mess with those if you'd like and see what they do. Now I'm going to show you how to embed a video into your WordPress website. It's very easy. I'm going to create a new page to do this. So I'm going to click on Pages and then Add New. I'm going to title this page, How to Embed Videos into a WordPress Website. Then I'm going to create my page. So those are my instructions on how to embed a video. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, the first step to embedding a video is finding a video that you want to embed. So I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to type in make a free website, click search. The first one to come up should be this one, which is my previous video on making a free professional website. If you haven't checked it out, it covers all the basics that you need before you are at this stage in your website making process. So go ahead and click this. And then underneath the video, you're going to see a share button. Click that. And then just a little bit to the right of that, you'll see an embed button. Click that. And then you will get this code right here. Go ahead and right click and copy that code. Go back to your WordPress page. And then make sure you click this text button right here. This allows you to input code into your WordPress website. So click the text button, paste the code in there, and then click update. And you're done. You have successfully embedded a video into your WordPress website. Let's go check it out. There's the picture we put in a little bit earlier. Let's click on our embedding videos page. Oh, by the way, I changed the title without telling you. It was too long before. And there's the video that we've just embedded. You can play it right here on the website. Very cool. Wow, that's ugly. Sorry, you have to look at that. So there you have it. That's how you embed a video. Now, if you want to change the size of your video, I would recommend changing the size here on the YouTube website, down here. You can either pick one of the preset sizes or you can put in a custom width. Go ahead and experiment with this. The nice thing about doing it here is that YouTube maintains the aspect ratio for you, which is important if you don't want your video to look squished or stretched. So. Put in the width that you want. Say if you want 700 pixels wide, put that in, and YouTube will automatically generate the height for you, thereby maintaining the aspect ratio. There are many ways to make your website even better. One of the things you can easily do to make your website better and more interactive is to add widgets. So go back to your dashboard, click on Appearance, and then Widgets. Here you will see a list of all the widgets that you can add. And over here you will see where they will appear on your page, either in the sidebar or in your footer. So let's say I want to add a calendar to my footer. And I want it on the left side. I'll add it here. And sometimes there will be options for you for the different widgets. This one has the option for a title. So I'm going to add a title and then click Save. Now, what else can I add? My blog role which is my links. How about displaying my links in the middle of my footer? I can look at these options below and configure it how I would like. Then I click Save. Now, say I want to include my login information on the right side of my footer. I can add that here. And then add my title, admin stuff, and click Save. There are some really cool widgets if you're into social media, like a Facebook like box. You simply drag that where you want it. Let's say we want to add that to our sidebar so we can add it up here. Facebook like box, drag it over here. And then you need to put in a title and your Facebook page URL and then click save. Uh, that's a really cool widget if you're into the social media thing. And so check out these widgets and see which ones you would like to add and then go back to your home page to see what they're going to look like. Here's my footer now. I have my calendar. I have my cool links and I have my admin stuff. Not exactly how I would like to have it for future, but you can see how the widgets work. Your footer will appear the same at the bottom of any page or post on your site. See? Okay, now I'm going to cover how to change the look of your website completely. Go ahead and go to your dashboard, hover over appearance, and then click on themes. 
At the top, you will see the current theme that you're using. Here below, you will see a thumbnail of all the different themes that you can choose. And then I'm going to start browsing through these themes to see if anything catches my eye. That looks nice to me. I can either click Live Preview for a preview, or I can simply activate it. I'm going to activate it. Once I've activated it, I will now go to the home page and see how it looks. I think that looks pretty nice. A lot different, but pretty nice. Let's scroll to the bottom and look at my footer. Now that looks different. Why? Where are the widgets that I added before? The answer is simple. Each theme has its own widgets that are available to it. So if we go back into our dashboard and we look at the widgets for this theme, we're going to see that the only place we can put widgets on this theme is in the primary sidebar. We cannot change the footer at all. So each theme is going to be a little bit different and the widgets for each theme will be a little bit different and you'll have to do a little bit of experimentation. Here's another website I found that I kind of like that uses this same theme, The Bold Life, and I thought it was pretty interesting reading too. You should check it out if you have a couple minutes. NBA Players Are Greedy wordpress.com. It's kind of funny uh, and I thought it was a pretty good read so check that out. Uh, that's where I got my inspiration for trying out the bold life because I really do like the way this theme looks. But what I recommend for you is just going through all the different themes, checking out how they look with your content and then adding the widgets that you want to add. The last thing I want to cover is how to add a contact form to your website. Every good website should have a contact form. This is so easy to do in WordPress that I forgot to even mention I was going to cover it in my introduction. Here's how you do it. Go to your dashboard, create a new page, and call it contact. Then click this little icon right here, and then click add this form to my post, and you're done. You can add more fields if you want, and also, when people use this form to contact you, the email will be sent to the email you used when you signed up for WordPress. So click this button, click publish, and head to your home page to see what it looks like. There it is, right at the top, contact. Click it. And then you will see your very cool contact form. That's about all I have for you today. Just a couple more words coming up. One of the most popular questions I've received is, can I use my own domain name? And the answer is, with WordPress.com, no, you cannot. Can you use your own domain name and still use WordPress? The answer is yes, you can. And I'm gonna cover that in an upcoming video. But it does cost money. A domain name will cost you between 10 and $20 per year, and you will also have to pay a company for hosting. I have a great recommendation for a superb web host with 24 seven customer support in a link in the description to this video. So check that out if you want. I will cover how to make a WordPress website with your own domain name in a future video. Another question I've gotten is, can I put ads on my free WordPress.com website? And the answer is no, you can't. It's a free website and there are some limitations. If you have your own hosted website, which I'm gonna cover in a future video, then you can use ads. And the cost is still minimal, but it's no longer free. What I'm trying to stick with in these tutorials is how to make a completely free professional looking website. I will try to answer any more questions that you guys have in the comments. Feel free to ask away. I will help you individually as well if you need help. Just message me and I'll be more than happy to help you. One last thing. A lot of my commenters really don't have much self-control when it comes to posting comments that are constructive. They feel the need to insult and be obnoxious. If you want to be obnoxious in the comments, that's fine. But expect that I will be obnoxious back to you. And uh, once again, if you need any help, I look forward to helping you out. Thanks for watching.